Hi, everybody! So what we're discussing today is merely a rumor at present. However, it seems like a rumor that has some merit. So what are these rumors, and what could they mean for the gaming industry as a whole? Because if these are true, it's going to have massive ramifications for the industry going forward. It seems like Xbox is going to go multi-platform with its exclusives. Which, if true, means my video covering my concerns regarding Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard will have aged poorly. Hey, I'm happy to be wrong. I've actually covered before why exclusivity is toxic for the industry, but also a bit of a necessary evil. In that video, I discussed how the ideal going forward might just be timed exclusivity. But why does it seem like Microsoft is going to be multi-platform going forward? Well, if you've been paying attention to some of the news, Hi-Fi Rush has received a rating in Australia. The ratings are for a PS4 and a Nintendo Switch port. There are also rumors of it being ported to PS5. Rumors have also indicated Sea of Thieves could come to PlayStation and the Switch successor down the line. These are great things for the game industry as a whole. Also, the CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, has been on record multiple times stating he is not in favor of exclusive games, which is how this rumor broke as it was discussed at the recent Microsoft shareholders meeting. But this has me questioning, is Microsoft moving in a direction akin to Sega? What do I mean by that though? Sega used to be a console manufacturer, but they left the game when they fell on hard times. Moving out of the hardware game right at a sinking ship. Microsoft clearly aren't having financial issues like Sega were, however they lag far behind both Nintendo and Sony when it comes to console sales. They are always in third place. Microsoft has also been on record stating Sony won the war in terms of establishing digital libraries, which they've tried to address with the Game Pass model. They're clearly winning when it comes to the subscription-based streaming games model, as there are far more people using Game Pass than PlayStation Plus, Extra, and Premium. However, there's a cap to the number of people who are willing to use a subscription-based streaming service. That's as true for movies and TV as it is to games. This is something platforms like Netflix and Disney Plus are finding out now. Once a streaming service reaches saturation, they have to look for other options. Going multi-platform might just be the move for Xbox going forward. In doing so, it might also signal Microsoft moving out of the console game entirely. This is what I think will happen eventually. Microsoft is clearly in third place with a loyal, if smaller, fan base, and their best games tend to capture people's attention. There was a reason why Halo dominated in the early 2000s gaming landscape. It was a trailblazer, and it captured what gamers were wanting at the time, a console game where you could play online. For Microsoft, they might be able to breathe new life into the Xbox brand should they move to multi-platform because there are clearly people who would love to play Xbox titles on their preferred systems. Smash Hit Hi-Fi Rush is almost the perfect example of a game that's tailor-made for the Switch, with its bright colors, quirky characters, and old-school platforming charm. It just fits what Switch owners enjoy. Something like Sea of Thieves could happily live on any system. So it kind of makes sense for Microsoft to move multi-platform, but let's cover why it might not make sense. It doesn't make sense for Microsoft to make this move considering how much they invested to acquire both Bethesda and Activision Blizzard in recent years. If they were just going to buy up these companies to have their IPs remain multi-platform, what was the point in the acquisitions? Well, the answer to that is because it means Microsoft would be making money off the games no matter what system they're sold on, which, let's be real, is a lot of money. It doesn't make sense though when you consider exclusive cell consoles. That's why games like Marvel's Spider-Man are such big deals. They're system sellers. Also, companies want to move their hardware to then move software, since the software is where these companies make the majority of their respective gaming divisions profit. It's noted Sony always sell their systems at a big loss for the first handful of years, and then recoup the loss via exclusive games. Nintendo operates a little bit differently since they're just a video game company. They also don't use the most cutting-edge technology in their systems, so they probably sell the machines either at cost or a little bit above. So from that standpoint, Microsoft having their Xbox titles go multi-platform makes very little sense, unless they're planning to make whatever the next Xbox console is their last roll of the dice before packing in the hardware game. We already know Microsoft is developing the successor to the series systems thanks to the court documents submitted during their acquisition of Activision. 
If that system isn't a smash hit, it's probably their last cast of the die. Them potentially porting their current exclusives to other platforms is probably to ease in the transition from being a console manufacturer into being just a developer and publisher. This is what I think is likeliest to happen, and the next system they make is going to be a lame duck one no matter what. It's clear Microsoft can't move out of third place, which likely means their gaming division is operating at a loss at worst and a meager profit at best. The potential for profit more or less lies in Microsoft making Xbox multi-platform and making Game Pass available on as many devices as possible. While Xbox might not be dead yet, the writing is probably on the wall for it. If going multi-platform proves as profitable for Microsoft as it hopes, then the gaming industry is in for a massive shakeup. I personally think we'll see a brand new Xbox system no later than 2029, possibly earlier. For now, I think games will come to Xbox systems first, and then a year or two later will go multi-platform. I see that continuing into the next generation. As for the rumors themselves, I think we'll at minimum see Hi-Fi Rush on other systems in the very near future. Sea of Thieves I could see on PlayStation and Nintendo systems this year as well. As for future Xbox exclusives, I think they will be Xbox exclusives until they've sold as well as they can on that platform. Then they'll move on to other systems a few years after launch, but I think ultimately Xbox days as a console manufacturer are done. Well, more they will be done after next generation. We're just in the transition period at present, a transition I imagine will take an entire generation to complete because Microsoft will want to test the waters on other platforms. They're also going to want to ensure they can pump out games at volume with some quality assurance. The games industry is in an interesting place. What do you think of these rumors? Let me know in the comments section. I think Microsoft, as just a software developer and publisher, is going to be the right move for the industry. Thanks go out to my channel members, R. Campbell and Danny Boy. You can help the channel out further by hitting either the subscribe or join buttons. Want more of my content? Check out the two videos popping up on screen now. Until next time, keep blazing that trail.